Hi, Ted Brooks with MagLogix. You're probably familiar with our family of TMC products. This one happens to be under the MagLogix brand name, about a three inch square, an incredible family of tools that creates a variety of different tools that we develop based upon that one magnet. This is the newest one that Jim Michael, the inventor of the technology, has created. You notice it's a little bit bigger, weighs in at about four pounds or so, so it's still incredibly lightweight, and believe it or not, this guy's got about 1,500 pounds of breakaway force. But that's only the beginning of what you need to know if you're going to use a magnet, whether it's this one, one of our normal lifting magnets, one of our bigger lifting magnets, or even our hand lifter. You need to know how much force does that magnet have on that piece of steel under the conditions that you have. That's the reason I'm showing you this one. This little red disc on top is an incredible new invention him and his brother actually just created. When you put in a piece of steel and turn it on, the display kicks in and shows you in real time what your actual holding force is on the piece of steel with all the rust, with the missing material, with the paint, with the unevenness of the surface, with all factors considered, this is your actual holding force. We're going to show you a variety of videos that show how different pieces of steel of different thickness, different air gaps, all create an absolutely identifiable change in the amount of holding force you have. If you don't know what your magnet is capable of, if you don't know what those variables are that you might be encountering, if you haven't done a test lift with the proper magnet and the proper hook, you're not ready to lift with magnets. So we'll give you as much information as we can and make sure you're prepared to lift safely and have no employee accidents. These examples are all relative and specific to the magnet being demonstrated. Your magnet may have very different results from ours. With our multiple pole technology, no other magnet in the industry today is more effective with small air gaps up to about 20 thousandths of an inch as shown in these videos. With 12 north and south poles, we are the best in the industry on this thin metal, the best on these small air gaps, and the best with missing components, as you'll see in one of the videos being shown now. A 10 thou air gap is typically considered light surface rust, maybe some surface imperfections. As we get up to a larger 20 thousandth of an inch air gap, that would be comparable to very heavy rust, maybe a coat of paint or two, something that would really seriously impact the holding force of a typical magnet. With ours, we still have industry-leading holding force, in this case, about 980 pounds. On this very thin galvanized metal, your first clue is how difficult it is to turn the magnet on. This indicates you don't have the holding power you otherwise would yet we still have over 390 pounds. This skeleton is about a foot off of that steel table so that the magnet is not trying to grab the steel table. It indicates just what a difference a skeleton can make.